bit of turn around so that just in case anyone actually starts um fuck uh, anyone starts watching this shit then like I don't know all right anyway hey talk you loud all right so this is a live stream of me getting drunk. <sighs> it's about like nine o'clock in the night. But it's sunrise time. All right. <sighs> so the reason why I started doing this live th stream is because I started having some pretty fucking epic thoughts about things to say. To various people. You know, but it's Saturday night. You know? Anyone who doesn't, you know, can't afford a babysitter. Is at home with their kids. And anyone else. Is out doing cool stuff. You know? But for me. That kind of shit does not go down. I'm not good in a crowded environment. You know? I stop listening to the person right in front of me. If I can hear them at all, I start hearing the voice that is over there or just the general noise. So it's a no, you know, I'm going to stay here. Maybe I'll read some ch the encyclopedia of magical spells because, you know, got a cool hood. It's too comfortable to be a wiz wizard's hood though. It's like, I'm going to be, it's like sex boxing, you know, it's too plush, it's too like, too nice, you know, you wear this if you're having sex, you're going to go boxing, you want something even smoother, like satin. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'm wearing two thirds of my new, my new pajamas. The other third is here. This is one I prepared earlier. This is the... F um, I was thinking flannel would be great to like insert as like some kind of rhyming kind of play on words in a sentence. But I can't think of it right now and it might not exist. I'm... I'm a flannel of... John Ronson's epi podcast episode on brainstorming. That shit is boss. You should look that the fuck up. That is the most excellent piece of media ever fucking produced. I'll tell you what, I have to go to Latvia, you know? Sideways. Sideways in Eastern Europe, you know? If you're in Eastern Europe, go sideways. End up in Latvia. Go sideways even further, you know? I wonder if sideways is either up or down or sideways even for even more than so the side you were already tending towards. Who knows? <sighs> drink. That's what I say. I say drink. Tequila! Like the latest fashion, capitalist disease. You gotta bash it up, bash it up, bash it up, bash it up. Hey! I'll tell you what, that fucking song, alright, first of all. My band, which I did a stream about last week, which is my most recent successful stream, if, you know. But anyway, whew. I think it's still in the 6K, 1.6K. I'm going to say 6K. Still in the 1.6Ks, but either way, that video has done quite well. Thank you, audience, whoever you are, all right? But anyway, 
that band, my band, Thunder God of the Multiverse, right? We play, we, we, we cover one song. That song is Hooker with a Penis by Tool. We do a good job of it. I would hazard to guess we do a better job of it than, I mean, I'm not necessarily Tool generally, but the singer of Tool who is, you know, pushing 60 can't do that shit anymore, you know? It's a difficult one to do. When he does it, he's got this weird little fucking distorted microphone thing and he's like, you know, he doesn't take it to the to the place it needs to be, you know? Me, as a 37-year-old man, I'm at peak performance. I can pull that shit off. Any younger, you'll ruin yourself. Any older, you've ruined yourself. Okay? Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, that fucking fucking, you know, come out and play by The Offspring, which I did a parody video of a couple of days ago called The Off Recycling because I had to do my recycling. I went and I went with my, my stepfather because he was also doing his recycling. <sighs> Decided not to donate the $7.20 or whatever I got. I went to fucking Woolworths and cashed that shit out, you know? Yeah, I had $7.20 worth of fucking bottles that I'd sacked up. I'd sack it up, sack it up, sack it up, sack it up. Hey, anyway, it's a pretty interesting video. It's a very, very interesting song, okay? It's an excellent fucking song. Straight out, probably one of the best The Offspring will ever come up with. Go get a job, get fucked. You know, fucking pretty fly for a white guy? No. But come out and play? Fuck yes, okay? That is an excellent fucking song. <clears throat> One of the best. Come out and play. And then that, that makes me get onto this whole trip of like, the idea of like, it's like people who want to be involved with music, but they don't have the fucking balls to do it on their own. You know, they don't want to join the choir. They don't want to learn to play the guitar, but they want to promote people who already do that, right? Which is kind of the music industry, I guess. It's the people that are, like, involved with, like, you know, whatever else is in, is is required besides actually learning to play the guitar or learning to sing or play the drums or the bass or whatever the fuck and then figuring out how to do that with other people, you know? I mean... Honestly to God, I, honest fucking hell, like it is a monumental task to figure out how to do that, you know? And you're thrown into the, 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 the hope that you might, which is something that you come up with yourself, you know? It's not like someone expects this of you, you know? You just come up with the idea of like, oh, I want to be in, I want to write a song, you know? No one helps you do that, ever. And if they do, they shouldn't, I reckon, you know, like, you just get the example of other people having done it, and then you do it yourself, you know? Or you just have a go at it. On that note, I'll tell you what. The songs that other people have written, that I have sung, you know? Which is mostly Tool songs, like... Like, I'll just sort of, like, ape them with a guitar. And just, like, you know, have a go at it. You know? Like, I'll just, like, play, play, play like, some, some, some basic sort of, like, backing harmony stuff and sort of sing the vocals to it that shit is fucking amazing man like there's just nothing better than other people's fucking shit i am terrible at doing this i kind of reckon maybe i'm getting slightly better at it since having started doing it with other people's stuff but when i was younger i was always like i always have to do my own thing you know if i try and copy other people's stuff well for one, if I had have ever tried to copy other people's stuff, right, I would, like, as in, like, just do covers to begin with, I'd have never had the confidence to do my own thing because my own thing is shit compared to that. Like, I'll sing fucking 46 and 2 the way that I do on the guitar, and it's like, holy, that's just astoundingly good, you know? It is fucking amazing, you know? And I'll, I'll straight out say it here, right? The people that wrote that, apparently. Um, Maynard James Keenan from Tool. Danny Carey from Tool. Adam Jones from Tool. And fucking Justin Chancellor from Tool. And probably fucking Paul DeMore from Tool. 
you know? That's important, sort of. But at the same time, it's like, well, the point I'm getting at is that the fucking people that sort of, like, try and fucking move it along and make it a thing that is monetizable and whatever, and fair enough, I I mean, like, it'd be good to be able to make a living off this sort of stuff, but it's like, maybe what makes life worth living, right, is, like, that not being kind of necessarily taken into account all the time. And that, like, you know, being able to own a song is just being able to fucking sing it. Like, the motivation to fucking just do it, you know? It's like, we do fucking hooker with a penis, and we do it fucking well, right? Like, I fucking sing the motherfucking shit out of that song, you know? And it's good, you know? And on that note, I guess, right? I mean, I was trying to make another point. The thing is, that song, Hooker with a Penis, is all about fucking, you know, everything that is, like, in this sort of context is trying to sell you some sort of stupid bullshit. So let's contemplate what the fuck that might be, right? Why don't you also do this? Why don't you also fucking YouTube, you know? Why don't you also have a fucking video diary? I would probably hazard to guess, hazard, I would hazard to guess, Jimmy, fuck. They're fucking. God damn it. Maybe this will help me fucking you know, double down on the fucking forgetfulness. <clears throat> what am I trying to sell you? Like, the, the, the line of that song is like, you, all you read or hear or see on TV is a product begging for your fat ass dirty dollar. So shut up and buy, buy, buy my new record, you know, which you should do. You should go out and you should buy all of the Tool records, you know, if you've never heard of Tool before and it's new to you, go and buy it all multiple times, you know. Pay for whatever you can of theirs. You know, I'm not gonna, because I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, you know? But still, it's good. You know, if that's your your only access, if you have to pay to get in, you know? Somehow, it doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, look it up on YouTube, for fuck's sake. You know, don't pay for it. But then, you know, skip the ad, particularly if it's like, say, join the army or fucking, fucking get a home loan. That sounded fucking... Buy some insurance. Like, holy shit, the fucking YouTube goddamn <laughs> advertise. Like, I have premium now, right? I don't use ad blocker because I'm a pussy, but I use premium. I pay for the premium because I would like that, like, that business model could run on its own without advertising. That's the sort of point. You know, like, if you're getting fucking, if you're watching the YouTube ads, every third ad is for YouTube itself, right? And it's like, yeah, we would prefer to not have to fucking suck the dicks of goddamn fucking the US military or whatever military or like the Commonwealth Bank or the insurance company or whatever. We would prefer not to do that. And so please pay the appropriate amount of money so that we can keep doing what we do, which is like, you know, find and source and figure out cool creator stuff. You know, I am not one of those people. I am the coolest creator. I don't give a shit. I don't want to get paid by YouTube, okay? I get paid by the Australian government, you know? I take the money away from a little bit of, like, a little bit of the, like, I survive by the US government, I mean, not the US, the Australian government not being able to, you know, fucking, you know, fund the expeditions of murderous motherfuckers in other places. Okay? I would think. This is maybe not the best way to think. I don't know, you know? War. What is it good for? I mean, it's good for the the bank accounts of the people that do it. You know? Fuck those people, right? (laughs) Burn those banks to the ground. I would think. (laughs) Obviously. It's such a shitty thing to do. You know? It's like... (laughs) Be good... In all other contexts, you know, 
do the do the best you can to be fucking a decent person, you know? Except one of these days, we might just fucking, you know, call you up to fucking shoot people just like yourself somewhere else. Or just over the hill. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You know? Maybe there are other solutions. You know? Maybe the reasons why the people over the hill are pissed off are valid. You know? Maybe the game that dumb motherfucker is playing at the top of that tower, you know? No one wants to play, and he's keeping playing it, and we've got to stop them from playing it for a bit. Clap, or the fairy dies. Okay, I know what the fairy is, alright? But I know what the clap is. I don't, personally. I heard about the clap. One time in my earlier days, a man who sold me drugs told me about the clap. He, sold, he told me that he got it one time. It doesn't really matter who he suspected he got it from, but he had it. And that he just woke up one day and it was gonorrhea, apparently. He woke up one day. This is what gonorrhea does to you. He woke up one day, right? And went to try and piss, right? Like he was like stinging for a piss. Like you wake, you know when you wake up, you've been drunk the night before or whatever the fuck. You're just fucking stinging for a piss, right? Runs to the toilet and all that would come out of his dick was just a fucking thick blob of pus. Just... So he went to the doctor. The doctor gave him penicillin. He took the penicillin. It went away. Yeah, all right. Still, unpleasant. <sighs> Where was I? All you hear and read or see on TV is a product begging for your fat ass dirty dollar. So shut up and go. And work on the thickness of my clap. The thickness of my clap. You may have been work, work, working on your shit, but I've been working on the thickness of my clap. Clamming up, popping like an Iggy. Mother, mother, friggin' hands coming together with a slap. Seven grams, stat. I see a thick blob of pus. Dripping out of that thick dick, trying to take a piss through the thickness of that gonorrhea. Now, that's a sick rap.